If you're a golfer, which shot would you rather take? A clear shot straight down the fairway or a crowded shot filled with trees? Sanitation with too much CYA in your pool is like trying to golf through a forest. Eventually you'll get to the putting green, but not without a lot of struggle. Maintaining cyanuric acid at a manageable level can be a struggle, and we realize that. Our fourth pillar of proactive pool care has a major impact on chlorine efficiency. The action step is keep CYA to a minimum to avoid overstabilization. In this video, we will explain what cyanuric acid is, how it gets in our water, and how to manage it to prevent overstabilization. Cyanuric acid, also called conditioner, stabilizer, or CYA for short, is a chemical that protects chlorine from direct sunlight. Direct sunlight will break down chlorine, so without protection, chlorine doesn't last very long in outdoor pools. CYA is a hexagon-shaped molecule with three places that chlorine can attach to it. These are weak nitrogen bonds that chlorine can attach to and detach from as needed. Since indoor pools don't have direct UV exposure from the sun, CYA stabilization is unnecessary. But that being said, without CYA in the water, chlorine is much stronger, which means more rapid oxidation, more rapid production of disinfection byproducts like chloramines, and more prevalent issues with indoor air quality. Overstabilization is a problem that can occur when using stabilized chlorines like dichlor and trichlor. These forms of chlorine are more than 50% cyanuric acid and increase CYA at a fairly alarming rate. For example, in 10,000 gallons of water, just one pound of dichlor or trichlor raises CYA six to seven parts per million. It adds up very quickly. Say you use one pound per week in a 10,000 gallon pool, assuming no dilution, in just 10 weeks, you have 60 to 70 parts per million of stabilizer in the water. Even small amounts of CYA can provide sunlight protection. Higher levels can provide more, but will require a proportional raise in free chlorine to keep sanitization the same. It's all about the free chlorine to cyanuric acid ratio. For instance, 1.5 parts free chlorine at 30 parts CYA is the same as 3 parts free chlorine at 60 parts CYA. But what happens when you have way more CYA than you need? You might be astounded at how dramatic the impact of CYA is on chlorine. In non-stabilized pools, the strength of chlorine is largely determined by the pH because of the percentage of strong hypochlorous acid versus weak hypochlorite ion. But with CYA, the vast majority of chlorine is bound to CYA and the percentage of hypochlorous acid plummets to about 3% or less. CYA has a major impact on chlorine efficiency. Fortunately, even low levels of active chlorine can disinfect and prevent algae. If there is an accidental fecal release in a commercial or public pool, the CDC's recommendation is a maximum of 15 parts per million CYA. And like we covered in course three, achieving disinfection of diseases like cryptosporidium and giardia requires a certain amount of contact time with chlorine. With CYA over 15 parts per million, Disinfection becomes impractical because the contact time goes way up. Another example of this is the reduction factor for preventing algae. It takes approximately 7.5% of your CYA level in free chlorine to prevent algae. That is, unless you're able to keep phosphate levels low, below 500 parts per billion. In that case, we are told the ratio could be lower, maybe even half, though we are awaiting research to confirm that. So, if you have 100 parts per million CYA, which is not uncommon at all, your new minimum free chlorine to prevent algae is 7.5 parts per million. With phosphate levels below 500, it could be closer to four parts per million. If your pool is already overstabilized, you should try to correct it. There are a few products that claim to remove CYA from water with mixed results. And for states with water use restrictions, Reverse osmosis may be an option, 
but without a doubt, the safest, easiest, and most reliable way to reduce CYA is to drain some water and refill with fresh water. The math is easy too. Want to cut your CYA level in half? Drain half your pool and refill it. It might not be exact, but it will be close. Be aware that CYA also can absorb or adhere to pool finishes. We've heard of many cases where the pool has been drained and refilled and there's already a CYA level in it. That happens because the CYA was stuck to the walls. Your dilution strategy can also include backwashing more and doing periodic drains or bleed offs. CYA serves an important purpose and at low levels, it's very beneficial. The problem, however, is not stabilization, it's overstabilization. While water evaporates and chlorine gets used up, CYA doesn't. It stays in your water and accumulates. The proactive strategy is to never let CYA accumulate too much in the first place. Adjust your practices throughout the year by using non-stabilized chlorine or scheduling regular dilutions. You can also add CYA as a granular additive, which is common for swimming pools that don't use stabilized chlorine. As long as you stay consistent, you shouldn't have to deal with overstabilization.